वेलकम व्यूवर्स टूडेज टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज नंबर क्लासिफिकेशन इन रीजनिंग पर्टिकुलरली फॉर एस एस सी सो वाट इज क्लासिफिकेशन क्लासिफिकेशन मीन्स ग्रुपिंग सर्टन थिंग्स इन टू ग्रुप्स बेस्ड ऑन ए कैरेक्टर ए सिमिलर कैरेक्टर सी वी कैन क्लासीफाई नॉट ओनली नंबर्स बट ऑल्सो लेटर्स अल्फाबेट्स फिगर्स एक्सेट्रा based on certain classification see to classify numbers letters or figures very very important is a student should recognize a common character so once a student recognized a common character then the classification becomes very easy particularly in case of number series student has to keep certain things in mind what are they what are the important things to classify the numbers they are number 1 squares these are very important because we can expect lot of questions from squares in different formats this format may be a n square format or n square plus 1 format n square plus 2 format or n square plus 3 format in the same way we can expect n square minus 1 and n square minus 2 format as well for example look at one question simply he will give four letters or four numbers you need to identify a common character for example if the question is like this so we need to classify these numbers into one particular group based on a character the moment i see this i know one square is one 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 obviously this is different one 15 it is 4 square minus 1 so obviously this is a different one so this what we call it as a classification in the classification we need to identify a, a certain character that classifies the numbers okay see one need to know the squares up to 25 at least then the values near squares also for example the question may appear like this how you will classify it by the moment you see this after re remembering the values of n square and the values near to n square directly i can say 3 square minus 1 this will be 4 square minus 1 this is 5 square minus 1 here also you can write this also like 2 square minus 1 here i give common but generally one will be different one number will be different this may be 26 also the moment it is go 26 the answer will become like n square plus 1 that is 5 square plus 1 see like this kind of differentiation is also possible so what i mean to say is simply the values of squares and the values near to the squares also is very very important so generally in your notes you make a note of all n square values till 25 after making the n square values to till 25 you make n square plus 1 values n square plus 2 values as well in the same way n square minus 1 and n square minus 2 values also and very very important format in this particular squares is n square plus n and n square minus n you will see lot of questions based on the format of n square plus n and n square minus 1 for example remember these are the numbers that is given see generally you can't pick the answer like this 6 is a here, here only one digit is there here two digits here two digits here two digits don't do like this see generally you have to observe the pattern that is given here if you see this one 2 square plus 2 3 square plus 3 Four square plus four. So this is not in the format of n square plus n. So you may expect in the exam the values of n square plus n and the values of n square minus n. So one need to write your own notes for all the values near the squares. That is n square, n square plus one, n square plus two. In the same way, n square minus one and n square minus two, n square plus n and n square minus one. Minus n, so all these are the different possibilities. 
to get the question next one the next thing the student should know is cubes these cubes are very very important in this cubes we can expect n cube here also the format is same the format of n cube minus 1 the format of n cube minus 2 in the same way n cube plus 1 or n cube minus 1 format also we can expect and the most important of all this is n cube plus n and n cube minus n for example if the question is based on n cube if the question is like this then directly you know this is we can write as 2 cube 3 cube 4 cube but if you see 120 we can write like 5 cube minus 5 this is minus n cube minus n format is there this one but you see remaining all these are directly is given cubes so the common character for all these numbers is cubes based on this you are classifying it so in the exam also or in your notes you just write like this n cube minus 1 the values near to n cube minus 1 as well the moment you see the values near to this range the what is important in the exam is you have to understand the values 8 and the values near to that values to the 27 near to the values of 27 near to values of 24 uh, 64 values of near 125 216 like that if you for example if you understand carefully the moment you see the range of numbers you can easily understand it it's not a big deal see here everywhere the case the range of numbers is same here see 8 27 64 120 here also that 6 27 62 120 the moment you see these values near to 25 values near to 60 values near to 120 values near to 210 or 220 the moment you see this you in your mind you should get this format is n cube format in the same way here also you just write your own series or the letters at the home so n cube plus one see it will become n cube plus one so n cube minus one so all these types you have to write in the notes itself the moment you see n cube plus n this is very important so one cube plus one two cube plus two three cube plus three four cube plus four five cube plus five see in this case also what i am saying is just you remember the range of the letters whenever you see this 2 10 30 around 60 around 130 again 210 or 222 the moment you see this you should get in your mind it is in a cubes format and check in the cubes format whether it is n plus 1 or plus 2 or minus 1 or minus 2 or n plus 1 or n cube plus n format or n cube minus n format the student has to remember the range of the numbers in case of squares and cubes that is very very important what are the other possible numbers that he may ask in the exam we already saw squares and cubes the next very important is prime number so he will give three prime numbers and one will not be a prime number as well for example the question may be like 3 7 11 and 16 you will ask find out the odd one the moment you see this you should be in a position to recognize this 3 7 11 all these are prime numbers so obviously they will form one group based on the character of prime numbers not only prime numbers you have to remember the reverse of prime numbers also what is meant by reverse of these prime numbers in the exam he may ask like 11 31 71 81 like this the moment you see this you should be in a position that even you reverse this you will get 11 even you reverse this you will get 13 reverse you will get 17 reverse you will get 18 so this all this are again it becomes what prime numbers so what he did prime numbers he reversed the prime numbers so the moment you see the prime numbers the moment we see the prime numbers what are the different possible questions one is reversing of prime the second one is same here also they may ask even like prime square this also possible prime square plus one 
प्राइम स्क्वायर माइनस वन प्राइम स्क्वायर प्लस टू प्राइम स्क्वायर माइनस टू ऑल दिस आर पॉसिबल दिस इन द फॉर्मेट ऑफ स्क्वायर्स यू मे इवन आस्क प्राइम क्यूब द वैल्यूज नियर द प्राइम क्यूब दैट इज प्राइम क्यूब प्लस वन प्राइम क्यूब माइनस वन प्राइम क्यूब प्लस टू प्राइम क्यूब माइनस टू और आई एम सेइंग द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चंस यू मे आस्क इन द एग्जाम दिस आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू नो दिस नंबर्स वेरी वेल इट्स वेरी वेरी लेस टाइम इट विल टेक वेरी वेरी लेस टाइम टू अनालाइज इन द एग्जाम सो प्राइम फैक्टर प्राइम नंबर्स सो पी प्लस वन p plus 2 is possible in the same way prime numbers minus 1 and prime numbers minus 2 is also possible and finally he may ask prime number square plus p also in the same way prime cube plus p so whenever he is asking the question in the format of prime square plus p and prime cube plus p then it appears that the question is difficult kind of question so all these are the different possible numbers he may ask in the exam to get the answer let's see what are the other possibles after squares cubes and prime numbers the student should know at least odd or even numbers so the question is asked or based on odd or even numbers means he will give 12 16 18 and he may ask 43 as well he will ask that try to classify it the moment you see this we know 12 16 and 32 these are even numbers and 43 will become a odd number so you can expect a question based on even numbers and odd numbers as well and the next very important area we need to focus is very very important sum of digits this is very very important we can expect question based on sum of digits let's try to see what type of questions we can expect for example 14 23 32 or 50 or like 17 now we'll ask try to classify it see in this case we'll check squares cubes prime numbers odd numbers even numbers and even sum of digits also the moment you see this 14 1 plus 4 is 5 here 23 2 plus 3 is also 5 then 50 then 5 plus 0 is also 5 the moment you see this 1 plus 7 it will become 8 so this is your different one compared to other so your answer will be 17 so you can expect the questions even based on sum of digits as well apart from this what are the different areas he may ask the questions it may be a multiplication you can see questions from divisions you can see questions from additions and you can see questions from subtractions as well not only this to make the question difficult what examiner will do he started combining all this stuff for example he will try to com com uh, combine addition and multiplication so first he will multiply and then he will add or then he will multiply then he will subtract or you have additions and subtractions as well so based upon the combination of multiplications divisions additions and subtractions also we can expect questions from this area as well so what we need to remember we can we should remember that the questions may be expected from squares the values near to squares cubes values near to cubes then prime numbers odd numbers even numbers sum of digits and combinations or sometimes single is also possible for multiplications divisions additions and subtractions so let's see some questions 24 60 124 120 so these are the numbers the moment you see i always said that if you are able to remember this values near to cubes you will get the answer very easily 24 how can i write 24 3 cube minus 3 60 4 cube minus 4 to 10 5 cube sorry 6 cube minus 6 6 cube minus 6 the same way 124 see 124 i can write like 5 cube minus 1 so the format is 
n cube minus n format is there. So, we need to remember this, this is very very important that the formats of n cube minus n and n cube plus n and of all the values near to cubes you should remember. Or sometimes you may say that not only n cube minus n format or you can say that it is also in the another format as well that is see the next one 24 which is divided by 3. So, this value is divided by 3 you will get 8 this value is also divided by 3 here also this is divided by 3 but 124 this cannot be divided by 3. So, even divided division is also possible in this case, but the division is only single one not the combination of multiplications and subtractions or multiplications and additions. Here even the division that is divided by 3 then also we will get the answer. So, either n cube minus 1 or division also both are same see this question. The moment you see this question 8 64 9 80 7 49 6 36 the moment you see the range of numbers 8 64 exactly it is square so that is 8 square here 6 and 36 this value is 6 square 7 49 obviously the value will be 7 square so what is 9 square 9 square is 81 so your answer is 2 or not only square you can go with either root also either x square or root of x also is possible yes or no. For example, if you see root 64 it will become 8 the same way root 49 it will become 7 root 36 then it will become 6 whereas in option 2 it is not possible. So, either squares or square roots ok you can do either case both are correct. So, in the examination you can solve one particular question based more than one method based on more than one method also. In this question 26 62, 36 63, 46 64, 56 18 the moment you see this same numbers are repeating obviously it is interchanged their positions for example 26 when you interchange it will become 62, 36 when you interchange it will become 63 in the same way 46 interchange will get 64 obviously with the 4 is not possible so your answer is 4. So, you one need to remember even the values that are interchanged also. See sometimes what he will do he will interchange the values of squares also this also very important to remember he will interchange the values of squares L. For example, let us see this one the moment you see here in this case we can clearly observe that these values are squares in interchanged values for example, 61 if you interchange you will get 16, 52 you will interchange you will get 25, 63 you interchange you will get 36, but you interchange you will get uh, 17. If you interchange 71 you will get 17. See here the squares inverted not only the numbers will invert even he will invert the square values as well. So, student needs to remember this as well. Look at this question. In this particular question 39 117 the moment you see this always check the range 39 117. So, it is increasing the range is increasing here 41 to 164 here also the range is increasing 66 to 198 range is increasing 71 to 213 the range also increasing. The moment you see this now you check that how many times it is increasing that is very important how many times for example, 39 117 the moment you see this it is multiplied by 3 times because it is increasing by 3 times. So, it is just a multiplication here in the same way 66 3 times 198 in the same way 71 3 times multiplied by 3 times you will get 213. So, 41 3 times is 123. So, your answer is option 2 is the answer or you may divide also see when you multiply it by 3 from your right side to left side if you want moving from your left side to right side just you have to divide it by 3 then also it is correct for example just you are dividing by 3 this is also correct if you divide it by 3 then also it is correct here also if you divide it by 3 then also it is correct either multiplied by 3 or divided by by 3 both these are correct so you can follow any method.
see the next question in this case 540 1260 432 1188 the moment i see this you know 5 is a small number and 40 is a big number obviously from small number to big number if i want to move from small number to big number what are the possible ways the possible ways are either square cube or multiplication so these three have to remember the moment you see the number from small number to big number what you have to analyze in the exam is either it may be a square or a cube or multiplication so try to check with these three you may get the answer but in this case directly i know that 5 40 it is 8 times so 5 8 times 40 4 8 times 32 11 8 times 88 so obviously your answer is 2 next question see the numbers 23 14 36 27 29 82 18 45 see here why what i said you have to check the range based on the range i can conclude that i can come to certain point whether it is a squares cubes or a multiplication or division or subtraction the moment i see 14 and 23 see 14 and 23 they are not very far they are very near so the the difference if you see the difference also it is come come to 9 here so here also there is no much difference 27 and 39 but you can see here 29 and 82 845 I can't come to that range of difference and I need to look you can't see 999 difference in all this stuff right so I can't take this one can I check with squares not possible because 23 it might I can write like 5, 5 square minus 2 but 14 not possible 36 a perfect square but 27 it's a cube then 29 82 18 45 so in this case the logic that I will get is here in this case the squares are not possible the multiplication is not possible again the subtractions is also not possible additions is also not possible if all these are not possible we have to go for what sum of digits i always said this is very very important then we have to check sum of digits now let's check with the sum of digits 23 14 so 23 i can write like 2 plus 3 is 5 in the same way 1 plus 4 is also 5 in the same way 3 plus 6 9 is equal to 2 plus 7 is also 9 in the same way 1 plus 8 is also 9 and 4 plus 5 is also 9 but which is not possible with option 3 so the here in this case the common character is sum of digits see sometimes the student may misinterpret that how they feel that students may feel that 36 and 27 the moment they say that okay these two are squares and cubes that is i can write 36 as 6 square whereas 27 as 3 cube right then you feel that okay squares and cubes are possible only in option 2 in the remaining cases it is not possible so i may go for option 2 as well no that is not the case because in this case which one is the bigger one that is sum of digits is the bigger one why sum of digits is bigger one because in this case common see common for first number common for second number and common for third number then i will get the answer as three but in case of cube only this one is common right and the remaining all we can't say so that this is the the sum of digits is more nearer to the answer compared to squares and cubes so you give priority to sum of digits next question see here here we are having some numbers you try to classify based on a character so how you will get idea see the idea here 5 3 2 9 big number here 2 3 4 9 big number here 1 4 3 9 big number here 3 2 3 8 here also big number so always you have a big number on the last so when big number on the last you try to add this to get the big number so if you see here it is 5, 3, 2, 9, no, you won't get the answer, but it's checked with option 2, that is 2 plus 4 plus 3, that will be equal to the last one, that is 9. In the same way, 3 plus 2 plus 3, that equal to 8, that is the last one. In the same way, 1 plus 4 plus 3, that is equal to 8. So, how I got that idea? I got that idea based upon, because 
in all the cases the last number is the bigger one when this last number is bigger one so then i will try to add if it is very big then i will try to multiply it's even very big then i will go with the squares even it is very very big then i will go with the cubes so the student has to get that observation the moment he see the numbers how much it is increasing how much it is decreasing what is the range what is the difference between the numbers in which format it is there so you need to observe all this stuff see the next question in this question also the moment you see these numbers observe which number is the bigger number in this case 22 is the bigger one 34 is the bigger one 37 is bigger one and 54 is the bigger one see with the numbers of 5 and 4 you need to get 20 means you have to multiply that is 5 over 4 times you will get 20 but what is there here 22 so just i will try to add 2 then i will get answer 22 here two things are involved what are they that is combination that is multiplication and addition so because of this multiplication and addition you are getting a big number see check the option 2 also 8 4 you multiply 4 8 32 again plus 2 you will get 34 as the answer so here also multiplication and addition then answer is option 3 because 9 4s are 36 36 plus 2 is 38 so your answer is 3 so here also observe the range if the range is bit more i just went for multiplication today in case of number classification we saw what are the different types of classifications in the numbers that are possible based on the format of squares and the range of squares cubes and the values near the range of cubes then prime numbers and values near the range of prime numbers odd numbers even numbers sum of digits additions divisions multiplications and subtractions moreover we also saw the format of divisions and multiplication the combination of divisions and multiplications additions and subtractions as well thank you